First, you'll need this embroidery hoop. I got a small one so that I could save monk's cloth and not waste materials, but if you want to make multiple at a time, you can use a larger size. This one is just perfect for one mug rug. I got all my supplies on Amazon, so I'll have everything linked below if you want to use the supplies that I'm showing in my video. This is the punch needle that I am using today. This is the second punch needle that I got from Amazon. The first one I got made my mug rugs a little too chunky, so I definitely recommend this one if you are just starting out. This was the first set that I got, and it comes with everything that you need, but I just got a different punch needle. This is the package that this punch needle came in. You'll need some Mod Podge and a brush, a hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks, monk's cloth for the backing of the mug rugs you'll need some felt fabric i am using lightweight yarn you can use medium but i just like the way the lightweight yarn looks more than the mediums however both works just as well first i will measure the monk's cloth so that i can trim it and then place it in my embroidery hoop this much should be good and i'll trim right about here after i trim the monk's cloth i'm going to get the inside of the embroidery hoop so this is the outside and this is the inside. Place your monk's cloth on top, like so. Your outer hoop, and just place it right on top of that. The monk's cloth is wedged in between the inner hoop and the outer hoop. Tighten the embroidery hoop up here by screwing this. You don't want to tighten it too much right now because you want monk's cloth to move just a little bit so that you can stretch this out and give this a tight surface. After stretching the monk's cloth in the embroidery hoop, you can tighten this as much as you can so that the cloth does not move when you go to punch this. This is my circle and for today's design I want to do a checkered pattern. I haven't done this before so we'll see how this turns out. We'll just go like this. I'm winging it to be honest with you, I'm just trying to do something simple. This is good enough. Your punch needle set should come with this little wire. What you're going to do is place the wire in top of the needle all the way to the back. Out the back. After you poke the wire through, place your yarn inside of the loop of the wire. It should be like that. Then pull through the other end. It should come out the top, just like that. After your punch needle looks like this, you're going to do the same thing, but through this hole. Get your wire and put it through here on the other side. So through here, and do the same exact thing. So get your yarn, put it through this loop again, pull it through. Just like that. Now we are ready to finally start punch needling. When you make your first punch, you want to punch through here. Take that little yarn strand and pull it through. There you have it. Just continue following your guides like so. While you do this, sure that this part is facing where the direction you're going. So I'm going down here, so that hole is facing downwards. One thing to remember while doing this is your yarn needs to have a lot of slack, which means you need to have loose yarn, a lot of it. So it can't be stuck anywhere or balled up because then it'll just pull the yarn out of the monk's cloth. I finished the first color, which was the light pink, and this is what it looks like. This is the front. I will trim these long yarn pieces after I glue the backing so we can ignore that for now. Bunch of needling. We'll do the same thing for the second color. This is what it looks like afterwards. I wish the colors were closer together, but the yarn that I worked with was ass. The pink one was fine, but this darker shade, really difficult to work with. After you finish your design, you are going to put Mod Podge on the back to seal it, and the Mod Podge will dry hard. Once that dries, you're gonna get your hot glue gun and hot glue this inwards like so. And after that, you can cut out the felt part to cover up the backing, just to make it look cleaner. It should look like this. The back should look like this. I can't do it right now because my camera's about to die, but that is all.